Okay, for this first part, we're gonna let this uh, splicer knock uh, on the door and let a nitro splicer take care of her for us. Boom. So, um, you can loot her body, but this first guy is our first encounter with the nitro splicers, and he has a ton of health for this stage of the game. So, I like to use the machine gun and just unleash a clip on his ass. Um, there's any other way you can take him down. I prefer this way, it's the fastest and uh, probably the easiest because. If you get too close to the wrench and that guy's unleashing those uh, bombs on you, you're probably going to, um, you know, get hurt. So after you kill him, uh, you'll have your first encounter again with the um, security cameras. Now these things are great to hack later in the game, um, and at certain times it's just easy to hack them and they'll unleash turrets on uh, splicers. This part is not a good time to hack it. There's no splicer play through this area, and it'd just be a waste of time to do it. So right here, I throw this guy in the furnace, and you'll get um, your first tonic of the game. Uh, it's, I think, Hacker's Delight, which uh, basically just gives you a little bit of uh, health. Yeah, a little bit of health every time you hack something, which at this stage of the game, uh, when you will be hacking a little more than usual than you will later in the game, uh, it does come in handy. So just hold on to it. Um, I might even have that in my uh, my supply the whole game. I don't know if I ever really change it. I don't really use a lot of hacking tonics um, in this walkthrough, but uh, you can experiment with them if you wish. Um, I would recommend you don't because with the auto hack tools that come up later in the game, they're really not needed that much. So right here we're going to start um, our quest for fire. It's right there. And uh, I'll be chiming in later with a little bit of tidbits, so just uh, hang in there and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Wonders the halls. We rebuild our city and the doubters send a fly to spoil our home. One thousand Adam to the man or woman who pins its wings. Um, this is, I think, your first encounter with um, passcodes. Um, the game typically either reveals these um, like this, very obviously, um, or later in the game, um, sometimes the codes are revealed in audio diaries, so it definitely pays. Besides the awesome backstory you get, it doesn't, uh, they release some um, passcodes in these things. So it does uh, pay to listen to these things. But um, like other places, it's um, kind of listed on a piece of paper somewhere or on a wall, written on a wall. So just um, pay attention and uh, you usually have the codes. But of course, you can always hack them if um, you don't find the codes in time or if you just want to get a move on. So just keep an eye out for them. Uh, after you kill that splicer right there, um, I'm kind of anticipating it a little too much in this vid, but 
I think once you pick up something, that will open up revealing um, a turret. So pick something up and then just run your ass over there and shock it. Um, I hack it there. I don't know why. Um, it's just a little easier because your wrench isn't powerful to destroy it, but you really don't. There's nothing coming through here, so there's, it's a useless hack, but you kind of have to do it because it takes too much effort to destroy it, and it usually comes back to life by then, and it blows your ass away. So, um, I use the auto-hack tool on that safe. That's why I didn't edit that out. So, um, it's up to you when to use the auto-hack tool. I almost use them exclusively on safes, so... Um, those are usually what you find later in the game as being almost impossible to hack or very difficult to hack. So I save auto attack tools for saves, and um, usually that's all. Um, if I use it somewhere else in the game, then it's just personal opinion, and it's totally up to you whether to do it. But saves are usually a safe bet to um, <laughs> to use them. Uh, this is a cool little area. It's probably one of the first uh, scare areas in the game. Uh, that guy was there. He's gone, and uh, I wonder where he'll be. Um, bam. Again, kind of uh, not too hard to take down, but the surprise factor was there the first time I played it. Thank you. 